As it relates to training the pecs with a pair of dumbbells, there are two primary variables that can be used to improve leverage and allow you to extend the time under optimal tension without actually needing to reduce the amount of weight you're using. They are the bench angle and the number of active joints contributing to the movement. Now, as it relates to the bench angle, the more upright the bench is, the more disadvantageous of a position you're putting the pecs in. The more decline the bench angle is, the more advantageous of a position you're putting the pecs in. Now, as it relates to the number of active joints contributing to the movement, you gotta understand with a multi-joint movement, like a dumbbell press, as opposed to a single joint movement, like a dumbbell fly, you have the added contribution of the delts and the triceps. Your capacity to produce force is going to be higher. So you can increase the time under optimal tension by switching from a fly to a press when training the chest with a pair of dumbbells. So you can perform a mechanical drop set by modifying one or both of the variables I just discussed to allow you to extend the time under optimal tension without actually reducing the amount of weight you're using. If you like the information, share it, click the fucking button at the bottom of the screen you're looking at, subscribe to the channel, support this motherfucker right here, and this motherfucker right here is gonna keep on bringing it.